Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today reviewing the week. This is a week in review. Let's go all the way back. Monday was the 7th, and the only thing on Monday I called was a SPY long. It worked. It went to the very first target, which was 247.80. We did not get up over the high on Monday, but I called a nice long in there. It worked. It was basically 1R. Called a good entry. It was aggressive. Called it in the morning, and as you'd say, this was an all-day trade, and we did close near the highs on Monday. You just had to wait it out, okay? That, let's go back. I'll show you the 15-minute here from Monday. Here. So we had a bullish move in the market on Monday. We followed through then Tuesday higher, Interesting to see that we are ending the week this week, or, or, or we might, I think we might, uh, bullish on the day, despite the fall off that we had yesterday. Anyways, that was the long for the Monday of the 7th. Tuesday, my normal thing that I like to do was car, short. This was a bearish gap down. That I didn't look at this for a couple of days. Let's look here. Woo, this did not follow through. Worked really good though, Tuesday as a short. Wow. No, I haven't looked at this. And actually, with the market falling yesterday, this really did not follow through at all. Anyways, did a short on this on Tuesday. It worked, I made money, was very happy. Had a big move. Interesting. So this was Tuesday's trade in the room. Bearish gap down, worked. Okay, so that was that. Then Wednesday, did Disney, short, failed. Luckily, again, this is why you take your stops. Disney did not work in here at all as a short on Wednesday. So I, I took a loss in that. And sometimes that's what happens. Loss on Disney on the 9th. Did two trades that day, which are two, two picks that I did. Sometimes I... Call two picks. Sometimes I do two picks. Sometimes I only do one pick. Anyways, Fossil was a busy day. Was a short on same day as Disney, the 9th. Worked, okay? You either did the quick move in the morning or you followed it through and I ended up being in this a very long time on Wednesday. Anyways, I had a big day in this. But you could have done this again yesterday. You could have done it again today. In fact, someone in the room did it today. I said target was $8. He made out. So Fossil was a big trade for me on Wednesday. It was a good trade for everybody, really, because it had a move no matter how you did it. It was a short. Then yesterday, Thursday, was Macy's. Tremendous move in this. Captured two quickies in this. Did not get this whole thing, but look at the move. Again, nice bearish gap. Follow through on the day. Macy's fell a little bit more today. Nothing to do in it today, but a nice short on Thursday. It was the 10th. Today, shorted snap. Lost in snap short. Okay? And I was up in it. Shorted in here. Drop, drop, drop. Was up in it. Didn't get out. Didn't break the low, but I liked it. It looked good. Took my stop. I did not replay this. There was nothing to do. It just didn't want to go. Okay, it, well, it, it did go, but it didn't go for me to think to get out of it. Um, didn't hit the targets. Don't think this is something that you want to buy. Do you really want to short this though here? No, the short was in the morning and it just didn't have a big move. It was like less than 15 cents. So I, I actually was up in this, but didn't get out. So that's, that's the breaks. This looks lower though overall. So took a loss in the snap today. In the very, 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 very last trade of the week was JC Penny. Let's review this one too. So JC Penny shorted, was up, flipped, got stopped out. Okay. Didn't redo it here, didn't redo it here, didn't redo it anywhere here in the morning. Was in the snap, okay? Thought snap was gonna work, was up in the snap, looked good. Ended up deciding to do a very, 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 very late morning trade in JC Penny. And I was looking for 75, it didn't get there. I ended up getting out at 80. It got close, 77. Ended up doing two trades in JCPenney today. The first one was a loss, and the second one was profitable. All in all, though, a very, very, very good week, okay? So one of the things I think it's interesting for people that want to trade, okay, is that 
they 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 think that you got to do a lot of different stuff in in just a couple of minutes here i just reviewed the entire week of five days of trading it was basically one two three four five six seven symbols seven symbols in five days and that's not a lot most trading rooms call you know seven symbols in an hour or in a day okay i'm very focused on what i do you've got to keep the money you make Today, actually, in total, the total for today's on Friday was a loss for me, but I'm up still huge from the week. So it really has to do with your focus, staying consistent, having way more winners than losers overall, and a consistently profitable system. And, and really, that's how you do it. And we'll look to see if I can continue my huge winning streak here for myself in the room into the rest of the month and really the rest of the year. So 2017 has been a good, strong year for me and the stock swoosh, and I will continue to stay focused and on track. And we'll see what we get going into next week, which is August 14th. There are some big names reporting next week. And for those of you in the option letter, you wanna watch for those as well. Have a great weekend, everybody. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, the 12th and 13th. If you want to learn my method, it's Saturday and Sunday. Today's the last day to sign up. You can email me. I will be around today. I'm going to relax and enjoy this beautiful summer day in New York. Have a great day, everyone.